Hello there, my Nessie Cakes, and welcome back to my channel. And for all those just now joining us, welcome. It's the holiday season, and Jamie from Jamie's Disney Kingdom did it again. We have another collab, and this one is about holiday ears, which you know I have a bunch. I only have one holiday lounge fly, but I've got a bunch of Jim Shores, and I got a bunch of ears, and I can't wait to share them with you. So let's go ahead and get started. Before I do, let me go ahead and thank Jamie from Jamie's Disney Kingdom, our favorite little brother, for inviting me. So thank you very much. I appreciate you. You know I love my, a good ear collab. And an excuse to wear an awesome, ugly Christmas sweater. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started, guys. I did wear my hair pulled back so you can see these ears in all of their glory. The very first one is this one, and this one is called Cranberry Delight. Isn't it pretty? Oh my gosh, I cannot even tell you when I got these. These are everything. These are kind of like not only just Christmas, but also Thanksgiving, really. It's just fall in general, and I absolutely love them. But the bright, uh, the bright red stones, they kind of remind me of Christmas decorations. So I added these into my little ears and I absolutely love them and they are velvet they're stunning they're absolutely stunning next pair of ears I have these are the Christmas wreath ears unfortunately I was not around to pick these out myself these were a gift from a co-worker that went and brought these back for me and I'm so glad that they did because I when I saw these literally had to have them adorable I love them Aren't they so cute, guys? Get into it. Pearls and all of the hollies are like hidden Mickeys. So cute. All right. Next pair I got the gingerbread ears. Now, they did come out with two of these. They have one with the red bow candy, which is the one that I have. And they also have one with the peppermint candy. Unfortunately, I missed out on the peppermint candy, but I at least got the original ones. Aren't these just adorable? I really wish that these were one of the ones that came scented. I love them so, so much. I don't know what is going on with my lighting. I hope all these ears are coming out in all of their glory. Next one, I know you've seen these a couple of times because they're one of my favorites. These are the sugar cookie ears. Look how cute these are. Yeah, I have definitely used these a lot because they're already starting to stretch out a little bit. That's the one thing I hate about ears, guys. After a while, they tend to stretch out and they're not as tight as they used to be. But for my other fellow ear collectors, what do you do to counteract that? Do you just put like tape on the bottom or is there a way to shrink these like, maybe with a heat gun if I do it on the low setting? Leave in the comments below if you know how to fix stretched out ears like this. All right, next one I've got is a homemade pair. Honestly, I do not remember which swap I was in when I got these, but I just love them. I just love, look at the bow. It's like a big cheerleader bow with all the different like flourishes. And it's, they're very simple, but they're very cute. I'm gonna have to re-hot glue that because I didn't see that it came out. It must've been from storage, but you know what? It doesn't matter. I don't care if they're not a brand name. They're adorable. And we also have these, and these are called the Merry and Bright Ears because it's written on the side. And these ones I know I got in a clearance rack somewhere. I cannot remember if it was online or actually at the Character Warehouse one year, but these were definitely heavily discounted, like $7. And I kind of see why, because the bow is so big that, look, guys, they slip. Like All you have to do is look up at the, at the sky and they slip right off because the bow is kind of pushing them weirdly onto your head. But you know what? I really don't care. They are just so cute. And they're giving me like scotch tape vibes. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> All right. And then we've got three more pairs, but these are my favorite. Okay, these are definitely my favorite of the holiday ears. I gotten both pairs of the ugly Christmas sweater ears. It came out God knows when ago, but I had to have them. This was the first pair I acquired, and these are the gray ones with the Mickey Mouse Club hat. Let's see if you can see it. Yeah, see, it's right there in the middle. That's the, the, 
the ugly, see, because I love my ugly Christmas sweaters so much, I needed the ears. Plus, these ears are like big, fluffy pom-poms, which makes it even cuter. And these are the most comfortable and the tightest ears, actually, I have. These don't move. And going with the ugly Christmas sweater theme, I also have the red pair. And the red pair was more ornaments than anything else. Look at that. And they have like trees and ornaments on the bow. I really hope this light is, it's not working with me today. I don't know what's going on. It might need a bulb change, but also big red pom-poms. Can you even? These are so cute. Well guys, last pair. And these are the pair because I saved them for last, saved the best for last. This pair, me and Jamie actually twin because I picked these up for us in a swap a whole many years ago. I think I've known Jamie for about maybe two years going on three, like pretty close. And I remember we had a holiday swap and I put these in his box because I just, th I thought he had to have them. And you know what? He's not getting, there's no way I can buy somebody else ears and not get myself a pair. It's just, I think it actually says that in a rule book, you know, Nessie needs her ears, but I needed to get a pair too because I just thought they were just so cute. And my sweet, sweet Nessie Cakes, that is the end of this collab on my side. But just like any other collab, I have linked everybody that's participating down in the towel section. So I hope that you get a chance to look at everybody's collection because I know I will. I love ears and I cannot wait to see like what people actually made. I know there's people on this uh, collab that actually made their, their ears. And even though Jamie did dare me to make my own ears one year, one time, I haven't gotten a chance to because I just, even though I am queen of the glue gun, I don't know if I can pull off a decent pair of ears because I'm picky when it comes to my ears. Like, I'm still waiting, you know, I'm waiting for somebody to let me know how to fix these. You know, there's got to be a way I could fix these. Maybe if I take some of the stuffing out so it sits better. And of course, I'm going to fix these. But... I don't know where to start and I don't know what pair to make. I don't know what pair to make first. And I know I'm going to be like, like scrutinizing every detail. So let's just leave it to the professional ear makers. <laughs> well, cakes, that was the end. And I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, guys, remember, you can always use a great Disney little brother. All of these adorable Christmas inspired ears and an extra slice. Bye for now.